Guido. What we have here is an LTTB replay that I'll be making commentary on. This is me playing on steps. And it is an example of light tank use in what is traditionally the heavy tank area, which will, you will see is right over here on the 1 2 line on steps. It also happens to be counter mode, so most of the light tanks and mediums will head up towards this area up here. So I'm actually going to go to the west and show you some gameplay in what is, again, a traditionally a heavy tank area. Scouts can, in fact, be quite effective there. I'll show you what I'm doing with my camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is rage on over here. There's a bush behind a rock. That's a great spot to get free damage. I'll pause it here. Free damage. What I mean by that is early shots on guys that are going to be very unlikely to return fire. A light tank and a medium tank is going to be the best for that kind of idea. Although a fast TD can get in these positions as well. And what you're looking to do is bush up or get to a hold down spot where as soon as you see somebody, you can shoot and get away, get some free damage without any return fire. So this is one of my favorite spots to do that up behind this bush right here. And you can often surprise the snot out of people. Now look how far ahead of everyone I am. So I'm going to pull into this bush, and I see the 704, and here he comes. So I'm relatively certain he doesn't see me. I do have six cents on this tank. It does take three seconds for it to light. So I'm just going to pull up here, fairly confident that he doesn't see me, with my light tank camo. And then I'm going to aim very carefully onto that lower plate, take a shot, and back on out. Mistake made here. He didn't actually see me, and I don't get back in there fast enough. I may have got a second shot in there, but I'm actually waiting for my sixth sense to cook off, and it doesn't. And I'm thinking right there, oh, darn, I probably had another shot to get in there. So I'm going to wait and see if somebody else shows up. Any more customers? There's one. Same guy. I'm going to shoot. Obviously, he's definitely going to see me right there. I'm going to shoot and get out of the way. And now I'm thinking about heading back over to the light tank area, having done my free shot here and maybe not want to hang around. So I'm actually going to change my mind. think I'm going to head out of here. What I'm doing here is trying to get out of the way of the 8.8s. That's one thing you want to do with a scout in heavy brawling areas is try to stay out of the way. Use your speed and maneuverability and go around your teammates so they can go ahead and maneuver without dealing with you. When I kind of see what's going on, we've got quite a few headed over here to the light tank, to the cap itself. We've got a decent crew over here, mostly 8.8s and that kind of thing. And we've got four tanks showing. Some guys coming up to back us up, back behind us. So I'm actually going to head back over and start working. I'll show you what I'm doing with my camera. I'm going to take a snap there. Why not? Doesn't pin. All right, that shot lets me know, and the fact that he just lit up, there's a JT 8.8 up on top. That's going to complicate working in the middle here. You'll see me come around this corner, and I'm going to dodge left to stay away from him because he will have shots. That's that guy up there. You can see him right about there. That guy will have shots down into this top area, and that's why they sit there. There's no arty in this game either to dissuade him from camping on that spot. So initially, I think about maybe taking some spots on him or some shots, and I decide against that. That is just asking to get pinned. So I'm going to come over here and start working with this guy. Show you what I'm doing with my camera. I get out of his way, let him pull forward. I figure he's going to probably give me some spots. I'm going to check the side. Oh, hey, look, we've got a 8 point for a uh, AC 48. So I can use that JT 88 as a little bit of armor. I can screen off that 8.8 .8 and just take shots and expose myself to the AC 48. And I'm kind of watching him as he takes shots. He's pretty enamored of the JT 8.8 .8 on my team. The 704 seems to not know what to do. Their 704, so. I get a couple bounces, now I take a couple more careful shots. I'm noticing an 8.8, .8, a second 8.8 .8 in here helping me. That was the AC shooting, so he's not going to reload in time, and I'm going to take another shot on him. And you see then I'm working with a scout in a kind of traditional brawling area, jumping out while they're on reloads and taking my shots and being annoying. So now I'm looking at, let me just fast forward, all right. So now I'm looking at the fact that we've got this 8.8 .8 that has moved forward, the guy that was camping that bush. We've got the 8.8 .8 trying to be holed down over there in the lower area. So I'm going to use my scout's maneuverability and get up on top here. Now he's going to see me come and swing his gun and kind of just snap me right there and kill my engine. So I fix that quickly. And now I've got to shoot him from behind. I'm kind of watching. You see me snap around and take a look at what that other JT is doing. I want to know what he's doing in between reloads. Not going up good. The other thing I'm doing here, the LTTB has got terrible gun depression over the very back deck of the tank. So I'm giving myself a little bit of angle there so that I'm not having gun depression issues. 
and I'm able to also shoot this guy in the back. Check on him. Here he comes. I think I have time for a reload. I know he's on his way. And now I'm going to cut right. Go around this rock. And this guy actually gives up. I don't know if in the video you can see what he types, but he basically says something to the effect of just kill me because we're going to swarm around him. I'm not sure if he's tracked or not. I can't tell, but he dies. Yeah, there it is. Whatever, just kill me. <laughs> so that guy quit. All right, so what do we got going on now? Pretty heavily engaged over here on the east side. They've got the standard lights and mediums. The 103 actually went over there. That was a bad mistake by him. He did done a lot better to be over on this side where we were but as it was we swarmed and destroyed these guys with TDs and lights in the middle's got some guys trolling around T25 2 and we got a mod 1 doing I don't know what and so now we're gonna start working on these guys that were camping back at their spawn point there's quite a few of them back there but I've got a lot of backup those 8.8's are gonna make short work you guys and you're gonna see me coming in here see what I'm doing with my gun Let's see what we got. I got a T20. We'll take a shot on him. No one else is really sort of looking at me. That's a miss. I'm backing up a little further than I would like to because I see that 103 way over there and I know he may start taking shots on me. Now watch this. This is great right here. Up and over and in the air and shot out of the air. <laughs> that was great. Oh man. All right. So I'm not going to start working on this T20. First thing I want to do is get rid of this building because I can't see him. He was using it to block my view, and now I'm just going to keep on picking at this guy as soon as I start hitting him anyway. i got a scout heading up on my left side. I see that, so he should start lighting extra people up. Shooting through that rubble, no problem. It's not heat, so it should go through it. And I'm just slowly picking at him. I, one thing about this is he is backing up as he shoots. So I know he's not very zoomed. So I'm not as concerned poking out at a fairly even rate as I'm doing predictable rate. If he just stopped and zoomed in, I'd have been a little more careful and maybe tried to bait a shot instead of coming right out and zooming in on him. But as it is, he's moving. So I know his reticle is fairly large. He's going to have a hard time hitting me, especially at that range. I'm not even worried about it. I'm just going to pop out here and take him down. Now I've got this IS-3, you'll see a really lucky shot on his turret here. I'm just kind of snap one off as I back up because he's headed down below that little ridge. And now I'm watching what's going on. So we are really in control right here. I've got 2300 damage. We've rolled up this flank. Our guys are actually winning over on the east side anyway. And we've only got this one IS-3 before we basically swarm them with our armada of TDs. I wish that was my kill, but somebody else killed him. I actually bounced. He let me no big deal. There's no arty anyway, so I'm just going to rage forward and start trying to pick off whatever I can or get whatever hit points I can out of what's left over here. They actually start to win against our east side, but it looks like the east side has mauled them pretty good. We still have a couple stragglers holding on. They start to cap, but it's probably not going to be enough. The, the weight of our guns at this point is just too much, and we'll swarm them pretty badly. So the first thing I see here is this Jag Panther JP sitting right there. So the last thing I want to do is cut in front of him and go after the guys down the bowl. So I'm going to work from the flanks and work my way in. So he's got to go first. Plus he's a fairly easy target, soft-wise. Just come down here, shoot him once, somebody else nails him. Now I'm going to cut right and I'm going to go ahead and use that terrain right there. Take a shot. No, no pen. I'm going to get around there. Hide from his shot. I can tell he's pointing at me, and then I'm just going to start kind of picking away, see what I can do here. Nope. 91 GF. And he turns. He's trying to spin, so that's going to give me some free shot right here. And then I'll just reload from behind, take him out, and now I'm going to use him. I'm going to hide. All right. So those are the last two guys I've got. Obviously, I am number one on the hit parade as far as they're concerned. So I'm just going to use this Jack Jag Panther 2 JP2 to hide behind. And then get a little squirrely here. I try to come out and get some shots on this guy. Bounces lower plate. I'm going to get nailed by the 103. That hurt. But I know he's on a reload. It's going to take him a while. So I go ahead and tuck up under and hide. And now I'm just going to take one side or the other of the JP to try to get away. I try to bait his shot right there, which works. Auto aim here. Come around the corner. Can't tell if that 8.8 is trying to ram me or what. But they end up killing the 103 before I can reload and take a shot. So there you have it, uh, 2,900, 2,988, almost 3,000 damage with the LTTB Scout working in what is traditionally a heavy tank area. It can be done if you're careful. It can be quite effective as well. 
and I, I like to call it just being completely annoying in there. Hope you enjoyed this replay. We'll catch you later.